Alrighty, so what Bella and Scott have done is they have put the engine on the frame and the frame and all under the freshly painted body. And now they are hooking up, or well, running wires and everything for all of our controls and lights. I am currently starting our 12 volt conversion on this car. It was originally 6 volt. And so what that means is that I've gotten a 12 volt battery, gotten a 12 volt coil. I have replaced the original generator with a 12 volt alternator that looks like the generator. Um, I've taken the voltage regulator and I've created a jumper wire so that it is basically obsolete but it looks original. Got new um, horns, new uh, horn relay. I fed through the wiring harnesses for the engine bay last week. Yesterday I fed through the wiring harness for the rear end. Right now I'm doing some preliminary dash work. Uh, we sent out our gauges and our radio to different places so they can get converted to 12 volts. So this is just to make my life easier down the line. What this is, is the original horn button. Now I've wet sanded it and cleaned it all up and took all the old paint out. Now I just got done painting the blue on the inside of the Chevy Emblem. Now I'm gonna paint all the red. I got done all the other, and then I'm gonna go back and redo all the chrome on it. So, tedious, little time consuming. Come out real good though. Now I'm gonna let this set up for a half hour or so. And then I'm going to do all the red because see where I got the tiniest little dot of blue on the red area? That's where you just got to take your dime. I'm going to clean that off and then move on. I think I just did that when I was doing it. Alright, work it back and forth. Is it hitting? Well, yeah, that's where it's engaged the Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so as a lot of you guys know, these cars don't typically come with certain modern safety features. Um, and the Chevy did not come with a turn signal switch. It is an optional add-on that could have been done at the dealership, at the factory, or later in the other car's life. So this car didn't actually have a turn signal switch. So I went online and I did some research when I was wiring in um, the harness, and I found that there was a five wire and a seven wire switch that came um, aftermarket on these cars. So I went out and I found a guide 6004 dealership option um, turn signal switch. And this basically, this little arm, sits right in, maybe, I'm doing that wrong. It's right in there, like that. And as you turn the handle, it click clicks each way, and that is your contact for your turn signals. But basically, um, I'm going to disassemble this. We're going to paint it the steering column color that it would have been uh, when it was put on the Chevy. I'm going to rewire it. We're going to get the little chrome arm redone. And hopefully, this will give us the turn signals we need to make this car roadworthy.
took this loom off, ran the grommet or the wires to the grommet, put the loom back on, got it installed. I am putting on my adjuster bolts now. The rims can go on, headlights can go in, and then when we're ready to put the fenders on, these can go in. But they've been painted, we went and got halogens, so this is going to be really nice. 